Hi, welcome to my channel. Uh, I woke up this morning in a bit of a silly mood. You know, sometimes when you're in the shower and you get ideas. Well, this morning I had a bit of a funny idea. What if we were to build a toilet museum? Like a weird and wonderful gallery full of toilet art. A museum, if you will. That's, that's too much. Um, anyway, that's what I've done. I uh, went into the existing gallery that's in San Mashuno. I didn't really want to build anything from scratch. I had to get straight in and build my poozy. Um, so I cleared out uh, the existing gallery that's there and I've repurposed it for this purpose. Anyway, let's jump in and have a look at the speed build. As I mentioned, we're starting in San Mashuno. This is the art gallery um, up towards the top of the map. Just running through now and clearing it all out and accidentally deleting the build. Um, I did not realize how big this gallery was. There's like three or four floors. Uh, so I kind of bit off a little bit more than I could chew than I was expecting. But um, yeah, got there in the end. Um, so we'll just go through now and clearing everything out and now I'm uh, dividing a few sections up um, for the different exhibits that I want to have. And I'm just making sure we get the right size. So up the back here, I'm um, working on uh, I got one, a little section that was interactive. So this is a giant toilet that you can actually um, go and have a little dip in. So I, I was being creative with it and I thought we'll do sort of a toilet half into the wall. Um, took a while to sort of get, get the hang of how I wanted to um, get it working um, with, with a section for them to uh, climb up at the back. There'll be a ladder that I put in shortly um, and then there's another little ladder where they can hop into the spa essentially which is the toilet bowl. Uh, here I am just trying to figure that out, trying to fit in stairs but they wouldn't fit because it was too deep. In the end yeah we went for a ladder um, and just yeah doing a little lip around the edge of the, the toilet now. A life size toilet that you can hop in. <laughs> it's weird, yeah, it's weird. It's a bit more slow. Most of this build is gonna be a bit weird. Um, yeah, so I was going through and designing this big toilet sculpture, and um, I was a bit stuck between like trying to make it look like a porcelain, white, clean toilet, um, and in the end, I went for something that looks like it's made of recycled pieces and just shoved together um, to form a piece of art that you can get into as if you wouldn't want to. I am um, well, looking back I probably should have put some towels on because you're going to be dripping wet while you go around the rest of the museum but anyway it's the sims. Um, here I'm just using a bit of the tool mod to try and line things up and get them to the size I wanted, put some, some plumbing in. Yeah, here we can see I was going for a bit of a white porcelain look, but um, I end up changing it shortly. Yeah, you can see the scoured up toilet there that I was using as my, my life-size model. Just trying to get a, a, like a basic outline of um, toilet, um, which in the end is why I went for to make it look like it was together out of scrap so it, it looks more like an artist had come in and built it purposely as yeah here we go so I started whacking tin and all sorts of metal textures and wood textures on there and I think it just worked a lot better it's like the artist has just gone out and collected random things and put them all together to make this wonderful sculpture that you can hop in as if you wouldn't want to Here's me struggling with the freezers. Um, in the end, I just embraced it and you can see part of the toilet from the outside of the building. I just couldn't get it to work how I wanted it to because, you know, that's what The Sims is like. Um, nice little fountain inside the, the cistern at the back of the toilet. Really immerse yourself in the experience, you know, as you go on up to get in the big dunny. I uh, went through and... I didn't change too much of the 
uh, existing build like design wise but I did update a few of the colors and um, you'll see later I went through and changed like some of the stairs and the railings and things just to change it up a bit um, yeah here you can see that I was struggling with the the freezers on the outside of the building um, turned it, end up just yeah turning into a bit of a feature you can see part of the toilet on the outside where it's been chopped in half a little peephole there so you can have a little look out when you're having a dip um, yeah just finishing off the final touches and then we'll move on to some of the exhibits in a moment oh yeah chucking through a few lights in there try and light it up a bit light happening so you can see what you're doing it didn't make that glowing blue texture work but it just wasn't happening so got rid of that here we go so moving on to the one of the first exhibits so this is uh the evolution of the toilet we're starting out with a crappy toilet and going through the ages up to the modern toilet that talks to you of course um yeah going through when i um, updating the floors on all the levels. I tried to minimize the packs I was using, but I think I, I still ended up using quite a few. But yeah, I've definitely, I've definitely got that in mind. So I will make some base build, uh, base game builds as well. Um, yeah, going through and popping some some plaques in, so you can have a little read about the the history of Dunnies. And I prefer that one because I can change the color. Now we're just popping a bit of light in, brighten up a bit, uh, and that's that's the first exhibit done. And then we're jumping into the next one. So this is bright and colourful toilets, a um, bit more arty farty. We're using the tour mod to lift them up, shuffling them around a little bit, make them make sure they're not kind of fall off. More exhibit signs. And I thought this area over here was a bit blank, so I thought you know what, we can fit a toilet in there. So this is me just going through, we're going to make it into a little glass box. Must be a special toilet because it's behind glass. Um, doesn't look that special, just looks like a toilet. And then we, and we just have to go for a little bit of a pink, pop a pink in the end there. Brighten it up a bit, a bit of colour. Um, and then over here I thought, oh, we'll just pop a few uh, artsy looking stools in. Brighten the place up a little bit. Um, I've scattered these throughout just to kind of keep the, the theme happening. And then we popped a bin in there as well. So you can pop your litter in the bin. And now we're moving on to the amenities that you can actually use. Um, ironically, of all of the toilets in the build, these are probably the most boring. I just freshened up the colors a bit and um, went through and changed the door so that they were gender neutral after I managed to find the appropriate door. But yeah, just a bit of a green theme in there, just tidy them up a bit. Wonder, it's weird how they've got double sinks in there. Someone's gone here with the sinks. Uh, and we've got our reception area, of course, with, with some toilets for the people to greet you. <laughs> so they've just got somewhere to sit. Um, I had to turn these benches around so that the um, computers would be on the right side for the people to sign you in on as you're coming into the gallery. Um, yeah, I went through and updated a bit of the design as I was saying earlier. We just went for something a bit more simplistic. Um, fixing up the water feature at the front because obviously it should be toilet themed. Uh, we popped another little cafeteria in here. Um, kept it simple, really simple. Just a, um, uh, that's from high school years I think. Just a little food and beverage stand and um, pop a couple of speakers in and we'll pop some um, we'll pop some couple of bins in a um, couple of tables and chairs like I said just keeping it really simple really neutral um, pop a couple of vending machines in so people are well fed and then out the back here I couldn't miss the chance of course um, pop, the, pop some grass down so we could get the <laughs> bushes in that are all part of the exhibit as well now we're up onto the the first floor. This is the um, oh, this is me struggling with curtains and the windows. We'll get there in the end. Uh, but this is going to be a little uh, toilet theatre. <laughs> so weird. Um, yes, some 
looking for a big screen and then uh, we're going to find the most comfy toilets we can of course and line them all up just like a theater love it and um, some more benches up here for people, places for people to sit uh, and again i thought it was a bit empty up there so just repurposing what we had downstairs and then changing the colors up just to brighten up a bit another little exhibit for people to check out on their way through uh, this exhibit here is the the dining experience um I, I don't think you could possibly have a museum without this really um so we've got a, a nice dining room set up uh, i'm clicking through now to find a few bits and pieces to finish up our dining room experience i swear i spend this is where i spend most of my time doing when in build mode is just looking for things i can't remember what they're called or they have a weird name uh, some really fancy toilets in here this is obviously the good dining room a bit of art on the walls dealing with the colors a bit and then running up sticking with the white and gold uh, i lost a bit of footage here but this is the top four which is basically a really hideous glowing maze that would be pretty much impossible to find your way through and uh, you get to the center and there's a litter in there yep great 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 you gotta pay to go in there of course well you know if this was real life you would and then this is our last room and i thought what can i put in here it's got to be something um, really grand to be our last room and i thought since I cheaped out on the toilets downstairs, the actual amenities you can use, I thought, you know what, we're going to give them one really, really great restroom. Um, so you've got your mar marble throne there. So it's really about the experience, you know. You just you've got to you've got to come in and experience the whole thing. Um, literally, this is it. This is the room: a sink and a toilet. <laughs> Accidentally put the toilet throw over near the sink. <laughs> oh. So maybe it's not the most grand experience, but I had to leave it there. It was a was a happy mistake. Like I said, it's all for the experience. Um, and that's that's pretty much us done. This is our little tour now. I'm gonna oh, head in through the front door here. So you come in. Um, lovely reception area here. Some spots for the receptionists to sit. Um, we go into the first exhibit, the evolution of toilets. Looking great. We head around here. We've got our experience. We can actually hop in and use the spa. Should have got some people in there using it. Anyway. Um, and then we've got a little colorful display with the toilets that are actually floating. <laughs> um, and then the outside area in a little spot where you can dine. And then if we head up the stairs, oh, jumping up the stairs there, bounce, bounce. Um, on this level, we've got our dining experience with the grand toilets. Beautiful. Love it. And then we head up to the other end, and this is our toilet theatre. Very grand indeed. Lovely spot to sit and watch a movie. And the best thing is, when if you get a big drink, you don't have to leave in the middle to... Anyway, moving on. Um, going upstairs to the next level. And this is our very, very grand experience of the marble toilet sitting in the middle of the room. Massive room. I just can't believe I left the toilet paper there. Whoops. That's me realizing what I've done. Whoops. <laughs> that would be so awkward. That would be so awkward. Uh, and then into this room, we've got a lovely toilet paper art wall. And then you head up to that. Terrible maze, which I wouldn't even—I couldn't even get through myself. I just ended up skipping through it to the end. <laughs> it would be torture. It would be torture just to find the litter at the end. How disappointed would you be? What a way to finish off our beautiful new toilet museum. Really good. We'll close up there. This is me jumping back in. I had to put a sign up. So, you know, we need a sign. Found the one that looked the most like crap that I could. And then this is me realizing that to keep it as an art gallery, of course, we need these uh, requirements. So I had to go through and pop a few little extra bits and pieces in because I, I wanted it still to be an art gallery. Uh, looking for a spot here. I just popped a few little bits and pieces in here. This for your Sims, get the immersive experience. An easel in here so you can have your portrait on the, on the grand toilet. 
thank you for joining me on this weird and wonderful experience. I've um, uploaded this to the gallery if you want to download it. Um, and I'll catch you in the next video. See you guys. Thank you.